Well, my special guest was already in the spotlight. I'm here in the middle of the French countryside, driving to a very special location with a very special guest. It happens to be the new Range Rover Evoque. You're seeing it first on Tech Today. I'm your host, Aisha Lavadi, and I can tell you that a lot has changed on the outside, but even more has changed on the inside, be it design, be it tech. Well, the group, JLR is now calling this a reductionist sort of design, but does that work when it comes to tech geeks like us and enthusiasts of this particular brand? Well, all that and a lot more on this special episode of Tech Today. So we've pulled over here on our way to Champagne and what I can tell you is that you can take a moment and adore what they've done with the cabin of the new Range Rover Evoque. Look, it is reductionist and that's what Jaguar Land Rover says as well, but you can see it in implementation. What I do like across the JLR lineup is something which is elementary, but a lot of automakers don't seem to get it right. I've always said this and I will maintain it, PB Pro is perhaps one of the best things that happened to the automotive world. Everything seems to work out here. In two clicks, you can get to anything that you want. One thing that really doesn't necessarily work, maybe it's, it's, a, it's a signal to the future, is that there's no hard touch buttons in this Evoque. I miss them, but maybe I'm being old school. With Range Rover now announcing a fully electric car to come very soon, maybe this gives you a little bit of a crystal ball gazing moment into the future. But even then, one thing they have done to really work around that is give this car full Alexa integration. Now, if you look at the rest of the cabin, obviously, BB Pro with this 11.4 inch screen, no buttons over here. A lot of it feels consistent across the lineup. But well, when we were on the highway, the heads up display worked really well. It's giving you the speed limits as we speak. And of course, with navigation, we've not had any trouble whatsoever. Driver assistance shows up over here and you have well, speed limit warnings. You can go on high, custom or low. You can also change the mode from here. So if you wanna go into eco, comfort, dynamic, even off-road modes, it's all possible in the Evoque. It's a small car, it's a very stylish, compact SUV, but it is capable of everything that a Land Rover comes with. All that promise continues with this particular Evoque. When you're talking about the seat height, I think in the front seat, it's a little deceptive because while it is much smaller than the rest of its brethren across the JLR lineup, you feel like you are in quite a high seated SUV. At the back, it's a different story, I'd imagine, but in the front, it is a very commanding seat position and it feels like you're driving a Vela. Commanding seat position, meridian sound all around and very, very intuitive PV Pro. So it's all, well, green lights for the interiors of this particular car, but let's get back on the road and I'll tell you a little bit more about ride quality. <laughs> So a lot of the features that you associate with higher end Range Rovers, maybe with the Velar or you know the full size Range Rover, a lot of those features don't make it to the Evoque. Talk about active noise cancellation, an absolute technology marvel with those cars. Out here, like I said, it's not that insulated. The cabin, you can hear a lot of the sounds while you're enjoying the sights outside. You can also hear a lot. I don't know if that's necessarily a good thing, especially in the city. But there are a bunch of features which have made it to this particular vehicle and they are an upgrade from the previous rendition. Well, pixel LEDs, right? It really helps in terms of driving at night and especially on the highway. So there's a bunch of them that have made it, some of them that have not. But the one good thing is with this new design philosophy and the tech right here, PV Pro makes it a very consistent, reassuring experience with the Range Rover Evoque as well. Even though the youngest sibling doesn't have some of those bells and whistles, it has the bare minimum and gets the job done. As do the new iPhone 15s with the action mode and all the cool stuff happening with the lenses. But I can tell you this, we're in the middle of countryside Europe with better roads, but sometimes you can feel some of the bumps and that actually gives you a great feeling of the rugged outdoors but i don't know if that is a deliberate thing does that change when the india variant comes through at this point all i can tell you is thank you for stabilization because you can feel a few of the bumps uh, i don't know if that changes with some of the modes right here and i'll show you some of them as soon as we take this turn that is very very reassuring the minute you do click on any of these you have comfort eco dynamic 
and obviously the right quality changes. There are 20 inch wheels on this one. You could upgrade all the way up to 21. That also, I would imagine, is a key factor with some of the things that I just mentioned about the right quality in the Range Rover Evoque. Well, it is very reassuring being sat here in the front seat of the new Evoque because the car responds to you exactly like you want it to. All of this tech really helps as well. Another bit, apart from the Meridian sound, which is absolutely mind-boggling, is this particular rear view camera. Now, the camera at the back, you've seen this in a lot of cars. We've seen Indian manufacturers also doing this, but I've always said this about Range Rovers. The quality of this camera is something that smartphone manufacturers can actually draw a leaf out of this particular playbook because it is almost 4K. I can adjust the brightness right here. I can see the guy who wants to overtake me right now because I'm shooting this as well. And you can also adjust the brightness and the zoom and exactly how you want this to move up or down. So I think it's a fairly good job with the implementation of this camera. And of course, you have the 3D cameras out here as well. We're gonna tell you a lot more about these tech specs when we pull over right up ahead. So all the modes are right here, 4x4 I info as well. This, of course, is a, an Evoque, but it has those off-roading capabilities. It comes with weight sensing as well, I can imagine, in a Mumbai monsoons. This is something that will come very much in handy, even though this is a much more compact package. Of course, a bunch of shortcuts over here. Navigation comes in handy on the route we're on. Obviously, you have all your connected music features as well. You can also use Android Auto or wireless Apple CarPlay. And then when you're talking about the cameras, well, this is something that Range Rover really excels in. You have 3D cameras. They get every angle spot on, you know, this 3D representation of this particular car. And that's not all. Later on, I'm also going to show you how having this 3D rear view camera also helps. But you can imagine with this representation on road and off road, well, this comes in handy as well. All right, just like all the other Range Rovers, it's the perfect placement of the gear system here. And then press to reveal, no button. So it's very, very minimal and reductionist, but still sleek and stylish. And of course, wireless charging over here. I'm not quite sure if it comes with boosters. In the higher end Range Rovers, your signal gets boosted out there. You also have USB-C connectivity and a little bit of storage here as well, maybe for this fine woven wall -in. There you go. It takes a couple of seconds to start charging, but when it does, I think it's the perfect placement. Well, plenty of storage for cups and saucers and whatnot. Of course, your morning cuppa. So you're covered, of course, over here. Is there a fridge? The moment of truth. No, not a fridge, but enough storage and USB-C connectivity. But very consistent across the Range Rover lineup now. All right, obviously you have all the controls you need right over here. A projection right up over there of your navigation system. You can change things around if you want to. Again, very intuitive touch. And then you can obviously use uh, ADAS features and the speed limiter, cruise control, volume control is right here. Nice click. And these are the buttons you sort of miss in the center console. But here, again, very Range Rover-esque. And honestly, it gets the job done. Another nifty feature in the Range Rover Evoque happens to be this video camera at the back. Crystal clear. I think a lot of smartphone manufacturers need to learn from JLR when it comes to these shots. You can see people moving around. They're very, very helpful on the highway as well. And then again, if you think this is not your cup of tea, well then, we got coffee as well. Well, it's been a fun day shooting with the Range Rover Evoque. Honestly, there's a lot that's changed on the inside and, of course, on the outside. It looks very Range Rover-esque, all those additions in terms of what they've done with the badging, with the wheels, the colors, it all seems to work. This was obviously not the same testing conditions that we have when we get this car in India. Very, very good roads throughout the highway, the city, and even in the middle of the French countryside. But all the tech inside the car has helped us through the process. If you talk about weight sensing, that's something which will come in handy, especially in Mumbai monsoons. We're going to test that as well. And the ride quality has been amazing. A lot has changed, but a lot hasn't as well. But so what we can tell you is that this is a nifty, well, improvement to the Range Rover Evoque. These were our first impressions and you've seen them first on Tech Today, but a lot more coming across all our platforms.